guys, welcome back to our channel. So today we'll be reviewing a automatic pet feeder. It's by Wopet and I have reviewed their other pet feeder and treat tosser before. I'll put either cards or links or something somewhere if you want to check those out. So I actually don't use automatic feeders. I would if they came out with a microchip one. The reason why I don't use automatic feeders is because Sven is a fatty. He will eat all of his food and then he will eat Robbie's food and Louise's food if I didn't have a microchip feeder that prevents him from going into their bowls. If you have one cat or cats that are all grazers, then you can definitely use an automatic feeder. That shouldn't be a problem. But if you have a cat that just kind of vacuums everyone's food up in like five seconds, then yeah, it might not work. But I will be reviewing it and showing you the features of this feeder. As a disclaimer, Wopet did send this feeder to us for review, but as always, I will give you my honest opinion and I will let you know the pros and cons of every item I review. So this feeder retails for $70 on Amazon. I'll put the link down below. Here are some product specification for the feeder. So this feeder can hold up to seven liters of food or approximately 29 cups. It can dispense four meals a day. It also allows you to do a voice recording up to 10 seconds and it has a stainless steel removable bowl. Dude. <laughs> Calm down. He really likes boxes and plastic for some reason. He's like literally, oh my gosh, dude, 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 dude. He's trying to dig out the plastic. Look how cute he is. <laughs> the last feeder that I reviewed from them was pretty easy setup. So I assume it'll be pretty simple too. On the bottom of the base, there is an on and off switch. There is also an option to place 3D batteries for emergencies like a power outage. The power cord also plugs in at the bottom. The top of the feeder is detachable for easy cleaning and it snaps easily into the base. On the base, there are notches to slide and attach the bowl holder. The stainless steel bowl easily slides out for cleaning. I don't imagine the bowl holder itself will need much cleaning. The lid to the feeder has a compartment to put packets of silica gel to help reduce moisture in the dry food. You have five buttons, the set key, up key, down key, feeding key, and the recording key. To set the time, you hold the set key until the characters on the screen flash. Use the up and down arrows to set each number and press the set key to move on to the next number. Something to note is that this feeder goes by military time. After going through setting up the clock, you will set up your meals. You can set up the number of copies per meal. Each copy will dispense 1 16th to 1 8th of a cup. Here I am setting meal 1 to dispense one portion, meal 2 to dispense one portion, and we will be skipping meals 3 and 4 by setting the number of copies to 0. To record your message, you hold down the recording key until it beeps. And hold. Who's hungry? Who's hungry? To manually feed, hold the feeding key to dispense one portion. He's hungry. <laughs> All right, so now we wait. So we got to test out the feeders and here are my pros and cons. Here are the pros. You do not need to put any batteries in there in order to use it. You could just plug it into the wall and it'll still work. But I really like the option of having a battery slot just in case there is a power outage. The feeder is really easy to take apart and clean. I know a lot of feeders do not do that. So this is a really good option if your cats have allergies and you need to keep everything clean and minimize the storage mites. I also really like the stainless steel bowls as you already know. Also really really like the fact that there is a compartment on the lid of the feeder for you to put silica gel packets in there to keep the food dry. So if you live in a really humid area, this feeder would be a nice option because you can replace the silica gel packets and you can find those on Amazon. I'll try to find some and link them down below. So cons. There's only really one con that I could find and it's not really even 
a con. It's understandable. So settings is a little tedious because you have to basically go all the way back to the beginning of the set menu, basically setting the clock in order to go through to setting the meal times and the meal portions. And anytime you want to change anything with the meals, you have to go all the way back to setting the clock, go through. You don't have to set it, but you have to go through each like step and then you can alter the meals. And it's totally understandable why it is the way it is. It's because they're trying to keep it sleek and less buttons. So here are my final thoughts. I think this is a really good feeder. It's really easy to use and set up. It's washable and for those living in a humid area, there's a compartment where you can put silica gel packets to keep your food dry. I definitely would recommend this for single cat households and also if you have a multi cat household and they are all grazers. If you have one dominant cat that would eat most of the food, then you might want to hold off on an automatic feeder. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys found this review helpful. Don't forget to subscribe, follow us on Instagram, and we'll catch you in the next video. Bye!